I'm News 3 reporter Cole Thrainstad in Isle of Wight County. As you can see by this sign here on the door at 54 Beans, the business is currently closed, but it is expected to soon reopen thanks to people coming together to raise thousands of dollars to help it reopen, creating a story about perseverance and community support. Standing outside her coffee shop looking in, Shamir Wells was not shy about talking about her struggle. In between trying to run the business and fight for my life, obviously things fell um, through the cracks. She tells me she did everything she could to keep the doors open after being diagnosed with breast cancer. There were times when I wasn't you know, able to come to the shop which means I had to pay my employees more, which means the labor was way higher than it had, you know, I had anticipated. Um, and I just, honestly, I just didn't have a plan for it. So it was between paying the girls or paying the rent. I paid the girls. After hearing about her having to close, in a span of a few weeks, her friends and many other people raised more than $8,000 through a GoFundMe account to help her catch up on her rent. I think it, um... It actually defines what community is. So the vision for 54 Beans was to serve the community. So when life happened to Shamir, the community actually turned around and served her. My favorite is a wellness tea that's served here. So I can't wait to get my cup and cross my legs and journal a little bit about what we experienced as a community. Wells says the community support was unexpected. To see the reaction just super overwhelming. She now has what she calls some sustainability plans to help keep the business going once it reopens. If you would like to help the coffee shop, the GoFundMe account will be active until the end of October. You can find a link to it in this story on our website. In Isle of Wight County, Coulter Anstaff, News 3.